In this video, you'll see how you can deploy an AWS Marketplace for Containers Anywhere product on a Kubernetes cluster. With this new AWS Marketplace feature, you can subscribe to Kubernetes applications and deploy them to on-premises environments using Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Service Anywhere, or to any self-managed Kubernetes clusters on-premises or in Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, or Amazon EC2. Let's begin by subscribing to an example AWS Marketplace for Containers Anywhere product. Once we have reviewed and agreed to the end-user license agreement, we can customize the license terms before purchase. For our purposes, we'll apply for a one-month contract. We'll retain the low bandwidth option and turn off auto-renew. Let's create the contract. Once the contract agreement is completed, we can continue with the configuration. In this example, we're deploying the application to our local Kubernetes cluster. So we'll use the Containers Anywhere delivery method and the default software version. Let's continue with the launch. We'll need to choose the deployment target. If we were deploying to an Amazon EKS cluster running on AWS, we'd select Amazon Managed Kubernetes. Since we're deploying to a local Kubernetes cluster, we'll select Self-Managed Kubernetes. To deploy on-premises, we'll need to create a token to verify licensing and entitlement requirements. An AWS Identity and Access Management, or IAM, role will be generated along with the token for license management. Once the license token has been created successfully, we can download it as a CSV. License tokens are portable and can be used to migrate between our on-premises and cloud Kubernetes clusters. Next, we'll copy two commands to use for application deployment. The first command will save the license access token and IAM role as a secret in the Kubernetes cluster. The second command will deploy the application to our cluster using a Helm chart. You can simply copy and paste these commands in your Kubernetes cluster to install the application. However, in this video, we will execute each command individually and explain what it does. Now let's switch to a terminal application that is connected to our Kubernetes cluster to complete the product installation. Let's create a name for the namespace. Next, we'll create a new service account for the deployment in the namespace. Let's save the token and the IAM role ARN to the cluster. We'll also run a kube control command to create a Kubernetes secret for the application deployment. Next, we'll run commands to get the token, generate temporary credentials, and save the credentials as environment variables. Now we'll create a new secret to pull container images from AWS Marketplace Amazon ECR repositories, and then patch the service account created earlier with image pull secrets. Now that we have created the Kubernetes secrets, we can deploy the container application using the Helm chart provided by the seller. Let's enable Open Container Initiative, or OCI, support and log into the AWS Marketplace ECR repository to pull the Helm chart. Next, we'll pull the Helm chart and export it to a local folder. Finally, we'll deploy the application using the Helm chart install command. Let's verify the application is running. We can see that the container application is running correctly. The same steps can be used to deploy the Kubernetes application on any self-managed Kubernetes cluster on-premises or in AWS EC2. You've just seen how you can deploy an AWS Marketplace for Containers Anywhere product on a Kubernetes cluster. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.